<laughs> Hello everyone, it's Brian Rosen again in another one of our Meet the Wine Maker series of videos. And we have a first timer here, if we you will. Yeah. A first timer uh, to Evolution, uh, Rosemary Cake Bread. And we are drinking some wonderful wines. Can you, Rosemary, thanks for coming by the way. Oh, thank you, thank you for having me. And I brought this amazing wine to Chicago. No. Wine and weather to Chicago. Well, depending on when they watch the video, today is <laughs> today is, is late March and it's 84 degrees, and uh, we're uh, in our July peak right now as far as weather, and we are frankly in our wine peak right now as far as quality. Um, tell me a little bit, Rosemary, if you can, about uh, a little about yourself and about the, the wines you're making now, a little bit about how you got to be where you are right now with the new winery. Well, sure. So um, I have a long history in Napa Valley of, of making wine, um, a long history of making Cabernet. Um, I've been the winemaker um, uh, most recently at Spotswood. I consult for them. And this is a project that I started in 2007, Gallica. Um, what does Gallica mean? Gallica is the botanical, it's a good question because I get that answer or ask that question quite a bit. Here to help. Um, <laughs> so um, Gallica is actually a botanical name for um, the rose family that you make perfume from. I've been a long student, uh, a long time student of the perfume. perfume. You smell very good. Um, well, um, more the smelling, <laughs> the, you know, the sensory part of perfume making because there's a lot of similarities in that you put a lot of different things together to make a perfume and it's very much the same thing with roses. So anyway, that's the name Gallica. That's very interesting. Cool. So. Um, the 2009 that you have in front of you is the third vintage of Gallica, and um, and I've uh, I love Cabernet. I love Cabernet. I love Cabernet Franc, especially. I love Petit Verdot, and so this is a blend of all three, and it's very much um, a hands-on project. That's great. Um, I'm a hands-on person. I love being. I love the tactile aspect of making wine, and um, I just love being in the winery. So. It's tiny, um, tiny production, always will be, um, and very much hands-on. Um, St. Helena fruit from our place. Um, Bruce and I have a small vineyard in St. Helena, and uh, Oakville. It's amazing. Cabernet, it sounds Cabernet so sexy, Franc. so romantic. It is, Bruce and I have a small romantic. vineyard. I'm living a good life. <laughs> so, uh, some parcel of 5,000 hectares of Cabernet. I mean, it sounds great. Oh, no, but it's tiny, tiny. So there's no 5,000 hectares involved. Well, I'd like to fantasize. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to own 5,000 hectares. Well, we but, both would. Um, yeah. Here is the wine. And we are going to carry it in Evolution stores because it's delightful. We're going to probably put it out on Bandwagon as well. It'll be on the website. Um, the wine is it's really delicious. And, oh, it's, a, and it's young. So, it. you know, it's an 09. But it, ha it has some maturity to it, you know, as far as it, the palate. At least what I'm tasting. Well, it's, um, I think Petit Verdot adds a lot of depth and, and sort of um, makes the wine dynamic. Um, I really try hard to make wines that are balanced, but I want them to be luscious too. I want them to be beautiful and drinkable, but also ageable. And so for something like the 2009, there's a lot of fruit right now. Um, de decanting is certainly something that I would recommend um, right. for these young cabs, but this is something that will, will benefit by further aging certainly down down the road it's one of those kind of wines that can hang in there in a cellar so how many like, cases will be produced this year of this wine um, so this is um, has been bottled and it's uh, 407 cases and some magnums so that's amazing and we just released it we'll take them all <laughs> okay your trip is yeah. over it's easy <laughs> okay <laughs> That's great. So, okay, um, so what we do always with our winemakers that come in and we put them in the hot seat yeah. or the hot stool uh -huh. is, <laughs> that did not sound right, but we put them in the hot seat. Um, <laughs> we'll have to edit that one out. Yeah, um, you, you can edit that one out. Yeah, please do. Uh -huh. But it is a hot stool. Um, you know what, we're going to skip past that. Um, what we do with our winemakers when they come in town is we always, besides put them in the hot seat and ask them a series of questions about the vineyard and the wine and how many cases, etc. Um, is we ask them just some silly questions about anything. So are you ready to go? Um, I'll, ch I'll give it my best. Give it your best. Okay. okay. So one of the questions we always ask is your favorite, and I don't know why, I just, it was the first question we asked and it just has been a snowball effect. Your favorite superhero and why? Superhero? See, I got you. Stumped you already. 
I don't think I have a superhero. Everyone's got a superhero. The next, the no, no, everyone's got some. Wonder Woman. So give me, give me an example of a superhero. Superman. Batman. 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 Your father. Oh, I'll be my father. There you go. Yeah, I'll say my father. You're yeah. pulling the sentimental heartstrings. Yeah. Um, favorite city to visit outside of California? Oh, that's another tough question. I'd have to say New York City. Okay. Yeah. Uh, favorite place to... <laughs> thank you, Chicago. Um, favorite place... I, I can't lie. I mean, while you're on your road trip here in Chicago mm -hmm. and, your, and, your, and your tour, favorite place to eat while you're in town? Here in Chicago. Wow, there's a lot of great restaurants. In yeah, Chicago. we talked about a couple last night. Yeah. We talked about Naha. We I went to Naha, fantastic. Um, the Gauge. The Gauge um, is great on um, Michigan Ali. Avenue. Yes, I think we're going. I don't remember where we're going tonight. Another one. I mean, some amazing restaurants yeah. here. True. Um, Chicago Cuts, Gibson's, all yes, of this. Yes. So. Um, I'm actually naming yeah. your favorite place. Alinea. I mean, there's some amazing. Right. Um, well, we're a restaurant yes, town. Yes. We are a restaurant town. Yeah. And finally, this is the one that I think is always the layup, mm -hmm. but I hope it doesn't stump you. Your favorite wine store mm -hmm. while you're in Chicago. Evolution, of course. Evolution <laughs> wines. Oh, another favorite restaurant too is Baca. Oh, yes, yeah. also very good. Yes. Well, thank you yeah. very much for coming to our store. Uh huh. Well, thank you. And thanks for, for giving us this wonderful <laughs> wine. Thank you very okay. much. Easy. <laughs>